Hi everyone, my name is a、uh, not wife. I am, however, still a master lore trademarked and a chronicler in game. So、uh, I know a thing or two about lore. Trust me, like everything here is real. So it is again Destiny's favorite spooky event, Fest of the Lost. This year, instead of exploring the haunted forest on our own and screaming whenever homie shows up, we're joined by Crow's lovely ghost Glint. And since Bungie sunset is a homie, we're just screaming whenever Headless One shows up. I miss you, homie. I miss you so much. <laughs> Why is Glint with us? Okay, so after having his old identity doxed by Savazong, Crow decided to leave the city. Uh, for now, don't know how long. Nobody said anything. Uh, asking Ikora to assign him elsewhere, Crow is now with Kaito's fleet, where he is safe from other guardians. Um, especially the Sunbreaker one. Still need to find her. <clears throat> Knowing that Crow needs some time on his own, Glint asks our guardian to explore ancient mysteries with him. And and by ancient mystery, I mean you know hellish ones. With great mysteries come great lore tabs. During the event, you can get spicy lore from Eva by unlocking special pages and cleansing them and steps. Oh, grind! In these lore are tales from Nessus, the Moon, and Europa, and I didn't actually read them. If you want to know more about them, Bife probably have a video about it. So you know, Bife. Uh, what we're focusing on today is a lore tab known as Luna Four, aka the only one that I actually read. This lore is a conversation between Glint and the Cryptarch Yareli about Golden Age Halloween traditions. However, as we read through the lore, um, something seems a little bit off. <clears throat> This is one of the few remaining source documents on the subject. It was published specifically for gentlemen, an esteemed social class at that time. Quote Master Yareli. Again, here it is. He said. Pointing to a chapter entitled "Pumpkin Body Paint is a Hot New Holiday Trend," trend. It features depictions of unclothed humans with orange ripped gores painted on their most globular anatomy. Uh, most globular, globular, <clears throat> and it's not over. As you can see, pumpkin featured heavily in the iconography of the time. People will paint them all over their bodies, even in highly inconvenient locations. And yeah, here comes the final line. Cryptarch Yareli replied absently, mesmerized by the historical photo. Bonji, you little. So so yes, Yareli was reading a、uh, P O R N. Glenn has been described as a relatively naive, carefree, childish character. I'm not saying this in a bad way, you know. I'm just saying that he has no idea what he's seeing and decided to log the conversation anyways. And now Bife is mad at me for shitposting. It's not even my fault. 